Unlocking the meaning of second row in English. Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel, where we make English learning easy and fun. Today, we're diving into the phrase second row. Whether you're at a concert, in a classroom, or simply enjoying a movie theater, knowing what second row means can be incredibly useful. So, Let's get started and unravel the layers of this common phrase. When we talk about the second row, we're referring to a literal, physical space. Imagine any set of parallel lines or objects arranged one behind the other. The second row is the line or layer that comes immediately after the first. It's not at the front, but it's close to the action or the view that the first row enjoys. In settings like classrooms, theaters, or any seating arrangement, being in the second row can imply that you have a good vantage point, but you are not at the forefront. Being in the second row has both literal and figurative implications, which we will explore next. Beyond the literal sense, second row can be used metaphorically. In a figurative sense, if someone says they're in the second row, it could mean they're not in the leading position, but still play a significant role. It's like being a supporting character in a play, not the star, but still crucial to the storyline. In a work or social context, if you hear someone say they're in the second row, they might be indicating that they are not the primary decision makers but are still influential or closely involved in what's happening. In different cultures, being in the second row might have unique connotations. For instance, in some societies, it could imply modesty or humility, preferring not to be in the spotlight. In other contexts, it might suggest a strategic choice to avoid the pressures of being first, while still maintaining a position of importance. Understanding these nuances is crucial, especially when the phrase is used in idiomatic expressions or in a cultural context that gives it a special meaning. Thank you for watching our video on the phrase, second row. Whether you're aiming for the front row or are content with the second, knowing this term can add depth to your English vocabulary. Remember, the second row might just be the perfect spot for observing, learning, and participating without the glare of the spotlight. Happy learning, and we hope you find the best row for your English language adventure. See you in the next video.